When I was an undergraduate, I can remember having a conversation with my advisor talking about, you know, I want to go to grad school, but I don't know where. And almost without skipping a beat, it seemed like the first thing he said was, well, you should really look at NC State. I mean, not only do they have phenomenal plant breeding faculty, I mean, they have just far more faculty that actually train plant breeders than a lot of other institutions do. I think one of the good things about coming to NC State is the fact that I did get experience in a lot of different um, parts of plant breeding. You know, I did molecular stuff, field stuff. I feel that I'll be very prepared for whatever career path I take because I've had broad experiences here. North Carolina State University's plant breeding program, distinguished by an internationally recognized faculty, has a track record of innovation and scientific accomplishment that comes from exceptional academic curricula, world-class facilities, and a vibrant scientific community. Because we have such a large program, we were able to have help from the extension and from the pathology and from applied breeders. And I feel that having such a diverse set of experts in the wheats and the crops that we offer here helps me be able to understand all the different aspects of wheat production that will enable me to, to be a successful wheat breeder. Although the plant breeding faculty and associate faculty members are located in several departments, they're concentrated primarily in the crop science, horticultural science, and forestry departments. There's a lot of good ideas that get exchanged. Uh, it's very important for my graduate students to be able to take the good courses that are offered by the other faculty members and, and also to, to learn not just what happens in corn breeding, but what's happening in small grains, what's happening in soybeans, what's happening in um, turf grass, tobacco breeding, those sorts of things. We have more than two million acres of managed turf in the state and that translates, you know, when you count jobs and, and maintenance costs and, and, and those sorts of costs, um, it's about a five billion dollar industry. But as successful as our industry is, there's still some problems and that cause a lot of losses. And some of those issues can be addressed by plant breeding. We do loblolly pine breeding for the most part. Over the years, the tradition of learning those quantitative genetics uh, statistical models from the icons that were over in the genetics and statistics department here on campus and and that's true today in both animal and plant breeding and really that collaborative effort that we have uh, is really fueled by the students and I think that's what really brings us together with with the faculty and scientists that conduit is the students. North Carolina State University's reputation in plant breeding originated over 60 years ago with formative work on quantitative genetic theory and applications. In addition, much of the pioneering research into DNA-based marker-assisted selection technology, which has revolutionized contemporary breeding approaches, was conducted through cooperative breeding programs of NC State and the USDA Agricultural Research Service. To build on and strengthen these research efforts, the Center for Plant Breeding and Applied Plant Genomics was established. The center has done a tremendous job at building a sense of community among plant breeding faculty on campus. There's a lot of us and we're distributed over several different departments, but I think we have never been as coordinated or um, as together as we are now. What I think the Plant Breeding Center helps us to do is to sort of bring all those resources together in one place and facilitate good interactions, collaborations, and communication across all those various disciplines. And that's really the strength of the, uh, the Plant Breeding Center. With our efforts beginning about four years ago, we have actually increased the number of plant breeding students about 25%. We now have more than 50 plant breeding students in the four departments at NC State. For me, I've got a lot of satisfaction with working with these students. They're all top-notch students and uh, we feel we have an excellent program. Any chance to interact with the, the best students and also see them progress in their professional development. And I see that as one of the strengths of this center. It actually allows students to get a breadth of knowledge, not only about the techniques and, and strategies of plant breeding, but professional development and how industry perceives uh, students and what they're looking for in students. With more than 35 core faculty actively developing new cultivars, germplasms, and parental lines, North Carolina State University has more plant breeders than any other U.S. university. 
Nearly 700 cultivars, germplasms, and parental lines have been released. These releases contribute significantly to the nearly $3 billion value of field and horticultural crops produced annually in North Carolina. A lot of these plant breeders here are directly contributing to the North Carolina economy, whether it's peanut breeding, I mean soybean breeding, wheat breeding, and other horticulture crops as well, they're directly contributing to the market. I mean, they're not just theory, they're actually putting something in the marketplace, which is pretty useful. The faculty here actually have a huge real world impact on North Carolina agriculture. The varieties that they're developing, tobacco, cucumbers, sweet potatoes, are actually grown by North Carolina farmers. Um, and so I think that's really cool to think that what you're working on will be used and it could be used soon. The center has strong support faculty as well, located in the plant pathology, entomology, statistics, molecular and structural biochemistry, plant biology, and genetics departments. Support faculty are skilled in DNA-based marker technology, plant transformation, genomics, proteomics, and metabolomics. Additionally, state-of-the-art facilities and training in plant analytics are located at the NC Research Campus in Kannapolis. And this center is an excellent one. It's a, it's a chance to associate with some of the very best students that there are out there. And also to bridge stronger collaborations between us and faculty members as we interact with the, the program in general. Now a major um, accomplishment of the center has been the building of graduate education capacity uh, through the attainment of outside funding for graduate assistantships, particularly from the private sector. The private sector are constantly asking us to educate a greater number of graduate students. Working with the faculty of the Center for Plant Breeding and Applied Plant Genomics, students get hands-on training in the field and greenhouses, as well as experience in the laboratory, experiences that prepare them well for plant breeding leadership positions, both in private and public institutions. I've been working with uh, Dr. Murphy for four years now and I've been since day one hands-on in both the cultivar release for wheat and oats. That more than anything will prepare me because it's not just learning the knowledge, it's actually applying what we learned here. Currently we're in the Phytotron, which is a climate controlled growing facility that's unique to North Carolina State. I'm investigating a novel approach to develop inbred lines in an expedited manner that are resistant to disease. So basically, to the use of transgenics and this, this facility, I'm trying to increase the amount of genetic gain per year. The emphasis placed on field breeding and cultivar development in the training of graduate students is a unique feature of the center's programs and is highly valued by industry recruiters. NC State University trains more graduate students in plant breeding than any other university in the Southeast. It's ranked second in the number of graduate students trained in the United States. I was attracted to this program by the size of the faculty here and the amount of ideas going on. Everybody has a different perspective on different crops that they're breeding and everything. And the quality of the coursework taught within the program, as, long, as well as the statistics department and the genetics department are all top notch. You get a very well-rounded education. Let me tell you one thing, a uh, plant breeding program in NC State is an interdepartmental program. It is offered in crop science, hot science, plant pathology and uh, forestry. So there are, there are a variety of, I mean there are students from all over the world over here. All my colleagues, they are very friendly and uh, it's just like another home for me here. Plant breeders here are all pretty uh, tight knit. You know, we have the people that come from the farms, we have the people that come from the labs, but they all come here to do, to learn plant breeding.